everyone this is going to be my summer 2014 makeup routine if you'd like to achieve this look I have going here with gold and bronze with a pop of color then keep watching I first prepped my eyebrows with my dip brow and brow gel and we're going to on to the face we will be starting with the Mac pro Longwear concealer and I'm going to be putting that on my under eye circles and any sort of redness that I'd like to have covered It would probably be a better idea to pat the concealer, but I'm lazy, <laughs> so I rub um, in sort of a loose triangle formation. And again, just working that in there. I ideally would just do my under eye circles, but you know, the pump kind of gives you access, so why not? Let's use it. Let's not waste product. <laughs> And this is my first uh, full face tutorial for YouTube, so bear with me please. I'm going to go in with Tarte's Amazonian Clay BB Primer, I just use it as an all over BB cream. And I'm going to dab that on my cheeks, chin, eyes, and nose. Eyes and... eyes. No eyes. Forehead. <laughs> and I'm just going to rub that in with my fingers. I don't think BB creams really even benefit from uh, using a brush, so you might as well. It's easy. It's a free brush. Your hands, I mean. <laughs> so I'm just rubbing this all over the face. And I'm going to continue it down my neck. Just so there's no lines. rubbing it down the neck. I don't want any sort of harsh line between my face and my neck color. Okay, wiping that off my hand. I'm going to set this with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder on a Sonia Kashuk Kabuki brush. Um, I did take a shot of the powder, but it was an ugly shot. So we're going in with bronzer, blush, and highlight now. I am using the two darker bronzy shades to contour my cheeks, cheekbones, sorry, um, temples, and jawline. I love dumb contouring faces. And I'm going in with the lower right lighter bronzy color and bronzing, not bronzing, contouring my nose with that. So I'm brushing on some of Benefit's Cream Blush, it's not a cream blush, I'm brushing on some of Benefit's Posy Tint, which is more of a liquid blush. And I'm just going to be rubbing that into the apples of my cheeks. So we'll put on a highlighter later, because I don't want to brush it away with any fallout. But we're going in with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I'm just rubbing that all over my eyelid, priming from the lid to the brow bone and in the inner corners. I did use NYX Jumbo Pencil in my inner corners but I accidentally forgot to film it. So now we're going in with Half Baked from the Naked Palette and I'm going to be putting this all over my eyelid to sort of set the scene for what we'd like our the tones in our look to be. slowed down on the eye you could see a little better so you could see what I'm actually doing. Now I'm going to be going in with the color Buck, my bad, um, and I'm going to be putting this in my crease and just, you know, sort of making this into my transition color. And this will sort of shape what we would like our eye look to be. Again, blend, blend, blend. Just using windshield wiper motions for this one because I really want to smoke this one out. So now we're going in with this goldy bronze color smog. And I'm going to be using this as the darkest crease color. I'm just blending this into the outer crease. Okay, it's just my whole crease, I guess. Um, 
If smog does not look right on you for this look, you can always use hustle too. So I'm using virgin on the brow bone and sin on the inner corner. And these are going to be our highlight shades. I'm also blending the crease color a little bit as I do this. looking and we're going to go in with the NYX Wonder Pencil and I believe the color is medium I accidentally forgot to get a shot of this but we're just going to use this as our base for the teal color usually I would use black on the bottom but um, we're going to use this color from the Wet n Wild Poster Child palette one of the eyelid shades and we're just going to pack that right on top of the Wonder Pencil because I don't own many colorful eyeliners. But this provides the same pop of color. And, like, that palette is five bucks. It's awesome. So as you can see already, we're creating a nice little unexpected pop of color in what would be kind of a average neutral look otherwise which is very trendy for the summer. If you put a colorful eyeliner in a summery look, that instantly amps it up. And I'm using a e.l.f. concealer brush to do this also, just packing it on top. So that's our final eyeshadow look. And I'm just blending without anything on my brush. So these are the, well this is the eyeliner and mascara we're going to be using, the Urban Decay ink for eyes, and I'm just going to do kind of a longer cat eye sort of shape. I already did it on the other side, but you can see it. And the mascara will be Tarts Gifted, which as per suggested from ILY Morgan here on YouTube, I tried that out and sadly it's no longer cruelty free so she can't use it, but geez, that is the best mascara I've ever tried. But we'll get to that. Um, currently we're using this eyeliner and it has the added benefit of being waterproof, which is good again for summery seasons because, you know, sweating, swimming, all that good stuff. I'm going to curl my eyelashes now. I always curl one eye at a time. I mean, I'm making kind of funny faces here, but I'm pretty proud that I didn't make too stupid of a face. And again, I'm putting on Gifted. It instantly just pumps my lashes up like three times more than what they were. I really like it. Just putting a little bit on the bottom, just so I don't blacken up the, uh, the teal at all. And again, I'm just doing the same thing with the mascara on the other eye. We're also going for a second coat here. First I just wiggle it through and then on the second coat I sort of blink, if that makes sense. You can see it better in my Elsa tutorial. So now I'm going to be adding that highlight I told you about, the Fergie Rosé Champagne Glow Shimmer Palette. And I'm putting this on my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin. So I've already prepped with one of these guys, an EOS lip balm. And now we're going to go in with the MAC Lipstick Flamingo, which is a beautiful coral color. And yeah, so again we're just going in with that. And it's a luster, which is a very nice light color, so that's good for the summer. And we are done with the look. Please check out my previous video and like, comment, subscribe on this one if you liked it so I know what to do. Bye!